So for this practice, I'm sitting in the top half of my chair seat. I'm going to be using a tennis ball today. You could also use a golf ball if you want or need more sensation. But in the seated practice, you can control how much pressure you have underneath the foot with regards to how much you're pressing into that ball. So you're going to start off slowly and just feeling it around along the sides of the foot, beneath the mound of the big toe, underneath the toes, the arch, and the heel. Okay, see if you notice any interesting areas. And it's also an interesting practice to feel the differences between the sides of the body. I first became familiar with this practice when I had a foot injury. I had a stress fracture to the ball of my foot from split stepping. And I found that my foot really wasn't uh, working all the muscles effectively. It was protecting itself. And then I ran into another host of problems with the ankle and the Achilles heel years ago. So it's a really nice practice, maybe to feel yourself walking first, then give yourself the massage walk afterwards, because it can be quite illuminating as far as how different the foot can feel. So this is a simple massage. And again, you're pressing in as hard as you'd like. But alternatively, you can do things such as placing the ball beneath the heel and pressing into that ball, almost like you're creating a little bit of an indentation and then rolling side to side to get into the heel a little bit more. So you might spend more time than what I'm spending today. And then take that ball into the arch, same thing, create some pressure, rolling side to side. And then coming beneath the ball of the big foot a little bit more, maybe getting into the toes. And then I really like this next movement where you kind of claw your toes in towards the ball a little bit more and then roll forward, making the foot a little smaller and then ease off where you spread the toes and come back a bit. So you're clawing your toes into the ball. You're bringing the heel a little more forward, making the foot smaller, and then you're spreading the toes, widening the foot, rolling back. And maybe let's just try that one more time. Sometimes you can notice how tight the top of your foot and the ankle uh, is as well. So this can be really helpful, not just for foot injuries, but for things such as plantar fasciitis, uh, very common thing for tennis players, of course. So play around with these things. See if it's beneficial to you when you walk around. Does it feel different when you walk? That's quite <laughs> enlightening, as I said. Try that out, and if you enjoy this practice, Join me next time on my channel. We're going to try a different version of this to challenge the balance a little bit more. See you soon and happy practicing in the meantime.